This is an example as to how cold it is here. Watch my hand. I'm visibly emitting heat from my hand. I am a fireman now! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Eric Randall, uh, I'm a meteorologist and I've just spent a year in Antarctica. What actually goes into, you know, planning a trip? Um, I remember you mentioned something of going to Robert's Colin. Okay, so we're at the top of Robert's Colin. And these guys have just left to march to go find their birds on that rock over there. So it goes further back that side and then, you know, they look for nests and whatnot. Roberts Colin is a little mountain located about 15 to 20 kilometers away from the base and although that's not really far from you know what we know here in South Africa it makes a massive difference with regards to the weather and how things can change so rapidly and being so far away from the base it, it, it can be quite unsafe you know you don't want to get caught up in the storm you know that far away so uh, a lot of things need to take place. Uh, firstly, permits and permission from the DCO. We've got the radio room, very important stuff, a P-Ware, the man, the myth and the legend, Sharon DCO. Then we need to get to the safety. Okay, so what's the weather gonna be like in the next few days? Again, the trouble with this is we're very fast in terms of data. The data is not very close together. So 20 kilometers away, you actually have no idea what's gonna happen. And you're just trying to base it off of the information that you have for the base. And so it makes it difficult and a bit tricky. Um, but again, fortunately, there was no severe weather coming in um, to Sana at the time. It is summer, so that weather generally is better. Um, but yeah, we, we managed to get a, a, a big break, about a week long uh, you know, break in the weather. And yeah, no clouds, no hectic wind. And it was just stunning. A major factor into going to places like that as well was checking to make sure that all the vehicles that we we're going to use to go to these locations were all fully functional, weren't going to stop there, you know, stop working in the middle of nowhere and then, you know, being stranded for who knows how long and having experienced the storm in the beginning of the year, I didn't, I didn't want to take that chance. So yeah, just making sure that everything's going to run smoothly um, storage for potential storms as well so if everyone does get stuck we can all just move into a caboose for example so a challenger vehicle will be um, carrying a caboose on a sledge behind it and you know there were only 12 13 of us that went on this trip so a, one caboose could easily fit that amount of people in um, for safety reasons and then, of course, making sure that there's enough food to last, just a redundant amount of food because you don't want to get, again, all about being stranded. So you want to avoid that as much as you possibly can. And yeah, we took the necessary precautions and managed to have a very cool trip. We went on snowmobiles 20 kilometers away from the base. And I was saying to the other guys that were on the trip with us, it was definitely one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I mean, it was... It was certainly adventurous and we all had a lot of fun um, it wasn't that wasn't the purpose of going but that was a byproduct of going on this trip uh, so the birders that went on were looking for some samples and some geo information about where certain birds lay eggs where they nest um, where they fly to how long they fly for and how far they fly away from their nests and, and home so that was kind of the reason we went and I was just providing a helping hand. Well, that's really a once in a lifetime experience. And what was it like coming back? Yeah, so I think everyone on the base, uh, my team members specifically, can attest to my excitement. I think we were all generally excited, but I was stoked. Excuse me, pardon me. You've brought me the wrong offspring. I ordered an extra large boy with beefy arms, extra guts and glory on the side. But this here, this is a talking fish, Johnny. I'll check you tomorrow, eh?
Lecker. Uzi. <laughs> We're going home. I was uh, elated about the fact that the ship was coming soon. Um, so, yeah, my happiness extended all throughout the month of September, October, November, and when in December when they arrived. All the things I love, where they come and go, but what I need, it never knows. It's the chase of time, it's the fear I fail, it's never knowing who I am. It's where I'll go, it's what I'll see, it's what it takes to chase that dream. It's the peace of mind, it's the fuel to the fire, it's the end of the world of my desires. I <laughs> are, we, are we done? We're done. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. I like it's who you are, it's what you need with all your heart.